DHMS, you got a lot of activities going on over there. Fast forward two years, are all these things going to be done and we're up and running and everything's nirvana out in the uh, the theaters? What's it going to look like two years from now? I'm sure it's never easy. We we know that. Right? But if COVID talks anything, it's that, you know, the functional changes that we have to do, you know, to deliver that health care have to be comprehensive, right? It really has to benefit the entire landscape. You know, so part of what, what we need to do is, you know, is work through this this first step that we're on of innovating that infrastructure, right? Building out what we need to do, you know, bringing our partners and in industry um, into parity with us so that, so that we can be adaptable, we can have that integration continue, that we can um, really progress at the speed and the efficiency that we need to, um, because it's, things aren't gonna slow down for us. You know, the security of the healthcare uh, markets in general um, is a is a hot button item right now, uh, and it's something that we have to continue to iterate and and make sure that we we continue to feed and make sure that we stay secure. Um, we've done a in the DoD we've done a pretty good job so far, and we we definitely don't want to to step backwards. We want to continue to innovate forward, uh, really make sure that what we do and and digitizing those patient centric um, capabilities, you know, that adding that value you know, in, in a safe and secure way is, is really what we want to try to accomplish in the next couple of years. Yeah, 